We are talking to the Consul General of India in Vancouver. Mr. Manish, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So tell me, there's a lot of talk about BLS and the appointment system. There's a lot of uh, information that we need to clarify today. So if you can give me a little bit of guidance of the process and the new uh, processes that they've put in place. All the consular services are being dealt by prior appointment, specifically the visa and the OCI applications. So the visa and OCI applicants have to take prior appointments through an online sy appointment system at the BLS International website. And then after getting appointment, they, the people can go and submit their uh, visa applications or OCI applications either in BLS Surrey or BLS Vancouver and then Calgary or Edmonton office in our jurisdiction. Uh, there are walk-ins for uh, people who want uh, passport services and uh, issue of uh, PCC. Okay. And the rest like OCI and visa are based on appointment. Right. So when you talk about appointments, uh, BLS is very, very busy and travel agents are involved in maybe sometimes booking these appointments or is that something that you want to clarify? No, the the system is fair and robust and I, I should say that there is nothing uh, has come to us that uh, there is a, any uh, misdeed by either the BLS or the uh, agents. What I understand is that people themselves go to agents to get their services in terms of filling the application form, so getting appointments for them because possibly that some of them don't want to do the work themselves because they have no time or possibly they are unable to access the website or they are technologically challenged. So we have checked it, uh, we have heard about it, we have checked it, but uh, we, we have found nothing, no evidence, it is all fair system. Because uh, any appointment which the agents are giving is also in the name of that particular person uh, with their passport details and everything. So the, the appointment is being given or taken for that particular applicant with passport details, etc. And they are using the same appointment system which the people in general are using. Okay, so it's a very fair system, and if somebody says, no, I need that visa tomorrow, they still have to get in line in the appointment system, am I correct? Yes, uh, there is no walk-in services and uh, consulate for visa and OCI. This has to be known to people at large. They have to come through BLS only. They have to deposit their application in BLS. We don't accept the application here in the consulate, but uh, it happens that every day we receive a lot of people at our consulate they're claiming that they have to travel tomorrow or they have to go in, in a hurry to India. But uh, as I said, uh, the application has to file at the BLS centers, so they have to go there. Of course, uh, in some emergency situations, like if uh, somebody's family members have passed away, unfortunately, or there is death cases in the near and dear ones, we of course accept those kind of cases uh, directly in the consulate. We receive those applications and we give them visas in few hours the same day. But rest, other applicants have to come through BLS and appointment is the only way out. Uh, too bad if you have to travel and you have not taken an appointment because uh, there is a limited number of um, uh, slots in the sense services we can provide every day. It is not only visa, there are OCI services, there are passport services, there are other consular services. So uh, apart, uh, approximately 400 to 500 services we give each day. So uh, the only way out is that since there are large number of uh, Indo-Canadians and people of Indian origin here and everybody wants to travel to India, there is uh, only way out is to book an appointment and if you can't get it now, you will get in few months time. So so the, there are misconceptions among the people that appointment system, they're not getting appointment, but they are getting the appointments. Right. They are not getting appointment as per their desire. Right. But uh, the appointment, if I go log into the website, I'll get an appointment for April. Fair enough, that is how the whole global system operates in terms of counselor services. The, uh, other countries are also following this appointment system and in many other uh, countries, you get appointments six months down the line, one year down the line, so that is how it operates. I mean, As long as it's fair, I mean, that's the main thing and you've, you've looked at it, it is absolutely fair, you just have to do everything you're supposed to do via the website. Uh, the other thing is there's also evening appointments they've opened up. Yeah, 
to deal with uh, some people's uh, emergency cases in the sense that some, they have to travel at short notice because not everything can be planned for some people. So suppose some family members are sick or they have to travel to India. So what we have done is every day uh, in the evening from 7 to 7.30, BLS Surrey releases extra slots because the demand is more in BLS Surrey office because a lot of people live in Surrey jurisdiction. So uh, slots are released every every working day for the next day appointment. So, so somebody can log on at 7 o'clock, between 7 and 7.30, yeah. look up to see what the appointment is for the next day. Yeah. So if, uh, say, like today 7 to 7.30, they can seek an appointment for tomorrow. Tomorrow they can log in for Monday, Perfect. that way. So those who have to travel in on a short notice can avail of this facility. Or So if people have... Uh, time in hand and they have a plans to visit in a uh, longer term horizon, they can go through direct appointment. The other option is to you send your dockets through by post. Okay. But uh, again, uh, po the postal applications on visa will have its own challenges because it will come to BLS, uh, the pro uh, any, any uh, delivery agencies will pick up the passport, deliver it, then things will be over. So it, it takes a bit of time. But some, some people who don't uh, have appointments, they can use that option also okay. through, through sending it by post. So there's a few different ways you can do it, and it's all fair. And, and is there anything you want to tell our viewers that are watching right now to clear up any fallacies, any misconceptions? If there's one last word you want to say to our viewers, you can look right there and, and go ahead. You know, this, uh, this I have seen that uh, as regards to the Government of India offices, our people always blame uh, us that we are not fair. This, But this is all uh, um, the rumors and misconceptions. Uh, we are fair and uh, fast delivery. We provide fast delivery of services. I think we would be the only one of the countries in the world who kind of respond to emails or meet people, explain to them very patiently, answer to their uh, queries. So uh, I have been hearing for a few days that uh, about this, uh, uh, that there is some uh, difficulty in and agents are using it. But uh, to be fair to everybody, I think uh, uh, people themselves are handing over their serv uh, work to agents so they are they are uh, helping them out in uh, securing appointments through the normal process as well as filling their forms so they they have to pay the service charges for the agents and i mean uh, if i i'm in the service for quite long and i know that uh, in many many countries people are using agents to do their counselor uh, related work because many people don't want to uh, have time to go to the offices uh, of the counselor and submit it. So p please don't go by that. I mean, if you can do the documents yourself, you can fill the form yourself, uh, you can do it and you can save your precious money of 50 or $200 which you have to give to the agent. Our f the forms are quite simple, two page document and very few documents, additional documents are required in support of your visa application. So please uh, fill your documents yourself and apply for it and uh, this is the way things will be. So please plan your visit and, uh, and then uh, accordingly apply for the visa or the OCI applications. Very good, Mr. Manish. Actually, it's true because I also applied for visa. The system was very easy and very fair. I went online and I did go to BLS for my appointment, so it worked out just fine for me. So I can attest to that. Thank you very much for the, <laughs> the endorsement. this uh, endorsement. And uh, I hope that many more people who um, endorse our uh, work and not only keep on blaming and targeting us mm -hmm. on uh, free, uh, the trivial matters. Uh, we are there to serve the Indo-Canadians and the Indian people here, and we have been doing that. Uh, we never stopped functioning during the COVID time. We also uh, opened the office every day, gave the counselor services. We are giving that now. So uh, we seek the support of the people and understanding. We, we have a fair system. Um, and uh, on the inside, if you reflect, you know, these same set of people were, or, or few people or few media houses were blaming us that, you know, in cold winter, people are queuing for from 3 a.m. in the morning to get a get, get deposit their application. Now, when we have a system in place, uh, which is uh, 
um, are quite robust uh, appointment based system then also people are complaining so people will keep complaining uh, that is the way how how people are uh, when uh, if they have their own uh, issues and challenges uh, but uh, uh, this is the most fair system you take your appointment and then accordingly uh, the day you get the appointment please go and submit the visa application or OCI application and of course we are there to help people in need who when there are, there are unfortunate mishaps in their family back home uh, we give them uh, on the regular working days also on the holidays also we open office and give them visas. Very good. Thank you so much for talking with us, Mr. Manish. And uh, through your channel, channel, I would also like to urge people who have the eligibility to get the Overseas Citizenship of India card, OCI card, which we call, please apply for that. I think in this uh, global pandemic and challenging times, I think o OCI card is quite valuable for all the people of Indian heritage because this is a card which is a lifelong multi-entry visa. So if you get this, you know, you will have you will stop coming going to BLS and you can keep traveling back and forth every because many of you many of you travel to India every year so it is better to get OCI card and uh, there are processes about it so please read it on our website or we can do a separate session on this OCI card but but we uh, through your channel I encourage Indians or Indo Canadians to apply for OCI cards and and get the OCI cards. Very good advice. Thank you so much. Thank you.